My name is Alicia English. Welcome back to my channel. I'm standing on the deck of my tiny home studio build. I'm building one of Home Hardware's backyard packages. They have lots of packages available from garages and sheds to decks and fences. And your plans come free with purchase of materials. So I'm building my very own studio in my backyard space. It's a pretty awesome build. And I'm building this build myself as an all woman build. I know I'm at the part of the project where I need to start thinking about the interior space, which means I'm going to want lights and hydro, plugs, outlets, everything into my space and so we headed to my favorite local home hardware McNaughton's home hardware to pick up all the supplies we needed for the next stage of this big project I'm going to start working on the interior of this space. And since I'm going to use this space and need some lighting, I wanna make sure that I have electricity in here. So we headed to go get everything we needed in order to get to the next steps. So in the interior space, I'm going to be drywalling, mudding, getting flooring installed, and doing all the electricity. It's going to look amazing. Today I am working on putting on my K-Can vinyl board and batten on the exterior of my studio. I haven't done this part of the project before. I've done tons of DIY projects, but never installed vinyl board and batten. And so I wanted to practice on this wall here, getting all of my drip edges for my window and my J channels and everything installed before I showed you kind of how I learned how to do it. But I'm gonna show you on the front of the build now that I've kind of got my expertise on this side. So what I've done right now is installed everything around my windows and around the trim of the building to get my first couple of sheets of vinyl on which you can see I've started to install here. So I'm going to work my way across this wall and once I get this side done, I'm going to start and show you how I did everything on the front of the building. Here's how. Hello, Ramona. I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the goal. We stand on the opposite shore. Hello, Ramona. I reach through mysterious ceilings, my holy hope. I look for the things I don't know. That was my first cut piece. <laughs> it looks so good. Seamless. I'm feeling very accomplished of my cut piece because I didn't want to do different sections, but it got really narrow here and I wanted it to join up really nice with the J uh, edge all the way around. So perfect cut. I measured twice, cut once. <laughs> Actually, I think I measured three times, cut once. Um, so now I'll be able to get this all nailed on. And when you put your nails on, you want to make sure that you don't put the nails super, super tight. You want to leave about an eighth of an inch so that if you need to, I'll show you here. You want to make sure your nail is in between the centers of these little slots here. That way, if you do need to slide it up and down, you can. Now I've cut mine like perfectly to size, just leaving about a quarter of an inch on the bottom room for it to expand and contract. But you don't want your nails to be super tight. You want to leave a bit of give room. I I guess you always seem to know Hello, Ramona I push back the serious The ends unknown To get back the life I used to know Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this 
past in the long Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know <laughs> the battle is real. <laughs> How deep does it see to be three feet? <laughs> <laughs> Looks good though. Add hole digger to my resume. Nice trench, huh? I might need help getting out. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm coming out. In my war paint. <laughs> No. Holy moly! Holy moly! Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a little dark inside the studio, but good news, in a couple of days, I will have electricity in this space. Thanks to Home Hardware's experts, I was able to pick up everything that I needed to do the electrical in this space. Where I live in Ontario, homeowners are able to do their own electricity if they have a permit. So I had to get a permit to be able to do the electrical work and everything right now is wired up and ready for me to have power. So in this space, I will have light switches and outlets because I will have many things that I need to be plugged into this space. And then I'm also going to have a heater. This whole space will be insulated before I put the drywalling up, which is my next step, which is really exciting that we're gonna get some finished walls into the space. I also picked up all the supplies that I needed to be able to paint the interior and to do my flooring, which is going to come right after we do our drywalling. So right now I have all of my outlets and light switches and everything in place to get ready for the next step. And then on the roof here, I have some vapor barriers and all of the fixtures for the wires ready to put on my LED pot lights, which I also picked up at Home Hardware. Let's light this place up. I was really looking forward to having this gorgeous deck on the front of my studio space. And I know that I'm going to want to have some of the gorgeous string studio lights that you can get that you find online. I've seen them many, many times and I think it'll be perfect for me to string those out the front of my entrance here and not have an actual permanent light fixture. That way I can always change my mind and do something different. So I've made sure to install an exterior outlet here so that I can actually change up my lighting and plug it in and be able to hide the cords instead of having a permanent structure. I also made sure to have one on the back of my building because we're going to do a really awesome pond feature in addition to the small pond we already have in a seating area next to the studio space. When you're working on a large project like this, you wanna think about future endeavors that you might have for the space. That way you're prepared if you wanna make some changes later on or if you wanna add any additions. I think especially for this space, I know I'm going to change out a few things, especially seasonally on the outside. So it was really important for me to have some exterior plugs to be able to make those changes. We already had a small pond here that the kids have really enjoyed over the years. And so we really wanted to add a little bit more pond space, but still leave enough room over here in the yard to be able to do a seating area. So when my trench is all filled back in, we're going to do a really amazing stone here that we're going to be able to have as a gorgeous seating area. And we made this a secondary pond here that will feed into from one pond to the other and filter naturally, which is going to be really awesome to have frogs and fish and things for the kids to enjoy in the yard. So I'm just starting to do some of the exterior work in preparation for our big reveal. I've been working the past couple of days getting all of the final details on the exterior. Did you really think I was gonna show you during this episode? You'll have to stay tuned to the next episode for the big reveal. Our next episode, you will get to see the reveal of all of the exterior and everything that we've been working on for the tiny home studio build. This has been an epic project for me and I wanna thank everybody for the support. Building my own studio is definitely a dream come true and to know that I was able to build this with my very own hands is super empowering for myself. So I'm really thrilled to have been able to do this with the support of Home Hardware. If you've not been to Home Hardware's website, check it out. They have lots of backyard packages available and they definitely make backyard dreams come true. Head to homehardware.ca to see everything they have available, garages and sheds, decks and fences. If you can dream it, they have it. So to finish off the rest of this project, I'm going to finish up a few things on the exterior, like all of the metal fascias that are really going to put the finishing touches on the exterior of this build. I'm really excited to get those final steps on. It's going to really complete the project. It's gonna look stunning. So make sure if you're not already subscribed to my channel that you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the final reveal of this build. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you on the next update.